Hello and welcome to this answer video. In this answer video, I'll be walking you through the answers for the worksheet divide a two digit number by a one digit number, as well as talking through some of the trickier bits involved with this skill. Question one wants us to calculate 42 divided by three, and it's given some insects there for us uh, to use, which you could share. You could get some items yourself and share them out into three groups, or you could group them into groups of three. So here's my 42. Uh, I've done dots instead of drawing insects, but we're gonna put them into groups of three because we're dividing by three. So there's one group of three. There's another group of three. And it's about being careful, making sure you always have a group of three, three dots in each group. And then once you've grouped all of those insects or dots, if you was grouping, then you count how many groups there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 42 divided by three is 14. And you'd get the same answer if you shared out the total of 42. Number two asks us to complete the number line using repeated subtraction to calculate 28 divided by four. And we know we're dividing by four because we're subtracting four each time. We're seeing how many times four goes into 28. So we've already been given a start here. 28 take four is 24. 24 take four is 20. So I need to carry on subtracting four, 20 take four is 16, 16 take four is 12, 12 take four is eight, uh, eight take four is four, and four take four is zero. And then to get your answer, you need to count these jumps up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 28 divided by four is seven. So for question three, we're asked to complete this division calculation here using this number line. And we can see we're using repeated subtraction. So our total on the right, our number on the right is 59. So that's going to be the number we are dividing, 59. And each jump is a subtraction of five repeated subtraction of five. So we're seeing how many whole fives can go into 59. So that's what we're dividing by, five. 59 divided by five. Now to get this number and the remainder, we'll have to count up these jumps and see how many is left over for our remainder. So let's complete the number line to do that. So 59 take five is 54. Then we've got 49, take away five is 44. 39 take five is 34. 24 take away five is 19. Then we can go to nine take five is four. Now, when I'm at four, I can't take away, I can't subtract a full five. So four is my remainder there. I can't subtract another five. So we know four is the remainder and to get our whole number we have to count up those jumps of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fifty-nine divided by five is eleven remainder four. Number four asks us to write the division shown on the place value chart. Now for that you have to add up the total of those counters and we have five tens and 24 ones. So five tens add 24 ones, that makes 74 because out of the 24, I can get two more tens. So I can have seven tens overall, leaving me with four ones left over. So 74, and we're gonna divide those total 
counters. So you could get 74 by adding up all those counters. And we're going to divide it by 5. And we're dividing by 5 because there's 5 rows on that place value chart. And of 74 divided by 5, you then need to add up and see how many place value counters are in each row. So we have a single 10 and four ones. So each row has 14. And then we've got four on the outside. So that's our remainder. We have a remainder of four. So 74 divided by five is 14 remainder four. Number five, Sean is calculating 26 divided by three. He says method A gives him an answer of five remainder two. Method B gives him an answer of eight remainder two. And only one of them can be correct. So is A or B to 26 divided by three? Well, let's have a look at A because I can see straight away on the number line, he's done something incorrect. He's made a mistake. And that's because he's got the correct numbers on the bottom, but he's subtracting three and 26 subtract three is 23. But you can see on his number line that the jump is actually past 23. And the same goes for the next jump. He's actually missing numbers on his jump. You've got to make sure every time you subtract an amount, it lands on a number perfectly. Just so you don't miss a number. If you see 11 and 17 on Sean's number line, 14 is right in the middle. There's actually no jump. We're jumping over it. We're not jumping to it. Sean is jumping over it. So he's missing numbers out. So let's do this one properly. We're going to subtract three each time. Being careful to land directly on those numbers as I take away each time. And then when I get to two, I can't subtract three anymore. So I've got a remainder two there. So we know Sean's right with the remainder two. So we know it's going to have a remainder of two because B has a remainder two as well. But let's count those jumps up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So A is eight remainder two, or it should be eight remainder two. And that's what B shows. So A is incorrect because Sean hasn't done his jumps properly. He's miscounted his jumps because he hasn't labeled the intervals up properly. That's the numbers on the bottom. He's jumped over numbers. He hasn't jumped to them. Number six, Stan thinks that 32 pencils, that's that 32 there, can be shared equally between four tables and two will be left to put in the cupboard. Is he correct? And he's done it using the place value grid and some counters, but the mistake he's made is that if you count those counters up, he's actually done 34 divided by four. If you count those counters, he has 34 ones and that's 34. We're not looking for 34, we're looking for 32. So two of those counters need to be removed to make 32. He's got the four rows in his place value chart, so that's correct. But take away two of those ones because we're looking for 32 and you'll get an answer of eight. There are eight in each row. The final question, number seven, we're given the number line and it's linked to this calculation, 85 divided by something equals something remainder something. So three somethings there, three mystery numbers we need to find out and we need to complete the number line to figure out the calculation here. So we know we're starting at 85 because 85 is our total. So this can go over here on our number line. And then to find out what we're dividing by, what goes in here, we need to figure out how many we've subtracted. So from 85 to 77, we've taken away, we've subtracted eight. So the calculation being done is 85 divided by eight. So then now we know those numbers, we can carry on the repeated subtraction on the number line and filling in those blanks. Then we need to count up our jumps to find our answer. So 77 take away eight is 69. Then we need to take away eight again. Eight each time is being taken away, 61. 
take away 8 again, 53. And we've been given some numbers already, but we need to put our jumps in. Make sure you check those numbers are correct. Has 8 been taken away each time? 13 take away 8. There's a missing number here. And that's 5. And then I can't take away another 8. If I've got 5, I can't take 8 away. So I've got a remainder of 5 there. So we know that can go in. And to find this one here, how many whole 8s go into 85? We can count those jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10. So 10 whole eights go into 85 and we'd have 5 as a remainder. So that was an answer video on dividing a two digit number by a one digit number. Remember you can watch the linked video tutorial for this over on kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or you can practice this skill with loads more resources over on classroomsecrets.co.uk.